short trip to Paris here. I'm only here for a couple days, mainly to watch the French Open. Well, I made it to the French Open. It's a bit sad that I didn't get to see Karolina Pliskova play, which is one of my favorite players. But I did get to see her twin sister, Christina Pliskova play today. It's crazy how exactly the same that they look, except one is left-handed and one is right-handed. so cool to be able to sit core side, especially this early in the game, and just be able to feel the energy on the core and even hear their little footsteps. I've also watched Dennis Shapova play, which is an another one of my favorite players. I guess I've always liked these like power players that are, I guess, more underrated, that don't get as much attention maybe. And then during the uh, Shapova game, I sat next to this like adorable grandma that was like cheering for Dennis, like almost every point. You still think he's gonna win? It's it's it was just such a fun time, really. I have to say the overall experience. I think I'd still prefer Wimbledon more than the French Open. I mean. Roland Garros is kind of small, and it's just, there's just a lot of people, and uh, just, it's kind of hard to get around, even, but, you know, I'm just so happy to be here. Anyhow, uh, you know, the thing with my relationship with Paris is that I've been here before, and I used to not like it. I mean, of course, it's a very pretty city and all, but it just like so many Parisians that I met, they were just like unhappy people and they complain all the time. Of course, they're chain smokers and that doesn't bother me. But it just like, you know, I've always said that I don't really care for Paris, but you know, the past couple of days, just being in the city and walking around the streets and I mean it's 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 a very very beautiful city the city of lights city of love you know a lot of my favorite movies were filmed here did you show up in Vienna that December no. uh, did you no I couldn't but I really wanted to stop by that cafe but I didn't get to but you know I just took my time really, really slow here. Every morning was just cafe and croissant and, and then just walk around, chill at a park and then just eat, drink and repeat and just enjoy this, this beautiful, beautiful city. I ended up using the Lime scooter or the Burr scooter, you know, those electric scooters. They're everywhere now in Paris and it's actually very, very easy to get around with. It's a very nice way to see the city as well, consider how huge Paris is. And you were just going by the Senna, you know, at night and you get to pass the Louvre and, and you see the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame is behind me and it's, it's incredible, it really is. Expensive, uh, just in general and everything. But yeah, I think I'm starting to change my views on, on Paris. It's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to like it, I guess. And I guess another thing to point out is that one thing I did notice that if you really think racism is bad in the US, I mean of course the US has got its own problems, but you know, being in Europe, it's just like you see the strong like not necessarily segregation, but it's just like I'm sure people of color live a much more different life than they do in the US where it's still a lot more inclusive than probably anywhere else in the world. So, all right, gotta go. We'll be back soon.